to want to smile when you see that forecast, but if loose fitting dentures are making you feel uncomfortable about your smile, Dr. Todd Shatkin is back from the Aesthetic Associate Center, and he has a few remedies for that. So good morning. Good morning, Linda. It's <laughs> always great to be here. Great to have you back. And you, I know we have some pictures, but what you can do these days is amazing. You don't have to wear the conventional denture anymore. Absolutely. Necessarily. You know, I want to also, before we get into that, I just want to say, um, we have a lot of construction going on at our yes, Aesthetic Associate do. Center, and I want to apologize for the dust and the construction mess, but we do have valet parking at the front door, oh. so you don't have to find a parking spot. I know our parking lot's a little bit of a mess, but we'll valet your car and we'll bring you, uh, you can walk right in. And well, that mess means there's growth. There is growth. Right. We're doing Good a 15,000 square foot addition and adding more space. Congratulations. Awesome. Thank you. I, today I just wanted to talk about the different options for denture wearers and a lot of patients out there suffer from loose dentures whether it's the upper denture the lower denture or and many people are very bothered by the plastic on mm -hmm. the roof of the mouth that covers the palate so I wanted to show you what a typical denture looks like yeah. maybe they can zoom in on this a little bit mm -hmm. hold it right there we're gonna get it hang on there we it. go all right, so this is what a normal denture is like, an upper denture, and you have the whole palette of the, of the plastic covering the whole roof of the mouth. It eliminates the, the taste. You, mm -hmm. don't, you don't get to feel the hot and cold liquids on the roof of the mouth. And also, it's, it's uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people have a gag reflex, or, or they need to use denture glue to keep it in because it doesn't stay put. And we have the same problem in the lower jaw where the dentures move around. So with mini implants, we are able to completely eliminate that palate and do a what we call a horseshoe denture. Mm -hmm. Cut out the palate completely and use mini implants that snap on and there's little O-rings in the denture and the way it works is it then snaps onto the patient's mouth like this. Mm. And it's very tight and it doesn't, doesn't come out so they no longer have to wear denture glue. So those are the mini implants and that would be the denture that would snap would in. You just would you sleep in that? You sleep with it, yeah. Okay. We tell the patient the only time they should take it out is after meals to clean their mouth and then they okay. put it right back in. Oh, wow. So they take it out two or three times a day after meals, depending right. on how often they eat, just to rinse their mouth out and then put it right back in. And they have to brush the implants, mm -hmm. you know, in the morning. All right. So that's so just one those. way you can go. And, and of course, we do the same thing on the lower jaw. So we would do the same type of procedure on the lower jaw with a lower denture and mini implants and then snap it in. Nice. You can actually hear it snapping. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The other option we have for patients that completely want to eliminate wearing a denture and removing it is a permanent bridge. And this is a permanent cemented bridge. Look at that. That would be placed on 10 to 12 mini implants. And there's no plastic at all. It's all porcelain. And they look like beautiful teeth. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to show a couple examples of that here that I have brought uh, cases with me to show. So all right. We can go to those if you'd like. Photos. Here we go. Yeah, so there's a patient that had a full upper and full lower denture before. You can see the chip bottom tooth in the front on her mm -hmm. old denture. And we eliminated those and put permanent porcelain bridge work in with implants top and wow. bottom. So that's a patient that had removed their dentures, completely eliminated them, and has permanent teeth. That's a genuine smile on the bottom. Yeah. And someone who's very, very happy. Right, and we got rid of that gummy smile. You don't show yep. the pink up on the mm -mm. plastic. See that pink on the, mm -hmm. uh, the denture, that's plastic. Okay. And then the next one shows another case uh, with mm -hmm. decayed and broken teeth that we eliminated the decayed teeth, put implants in, and then we did uh, top and bottom crowns and implants and veneers. My goodness, and, and how long does this take? It can all be done in two weeks. Isn't that two amazing? Visits. So the, the old style of implants takes up to a year to complete. Mm -hmm. Ours will take about two to three visits over a two to three week period of time, and uh, it's about half the cost. And you can work with people's financing too. Absolutely, yeah. we do offer no interest financing for two years, or we can go up to eight, up to 84 months even if they need more time. But you can come in for a consultation too and Please. find out what your options are. Complimentary consultation and x-rays, just call us up and we'll be happy to see you and give you an, an idea of what could be done for I you. I would bet you lots of people are taking you up on this because that so. would be a wonderful thing to get rid of yeah. is that whole artificial palate and and you know, the, the three things that keep a patient out of a dental office is mm -hmm. they're worried about pain, they're worried about the money, and they're worried about the time. And we eliminate all three of those because yes, you do. it's much less discomfort, it's much less time, and the cost is half the cost. All right, there you go, everybody. Smile brightly. Just to go to greatlook.com or the Aesthetic Associate Center. That's where you'll find Dr. Todd Shatkin at 2500 Kensington Avenue in Buffalo, 839-1700. Call today.